vanish. Hey, what's happening to you guys? It's Extreme Personic here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 63 and 64 because those two episodes, well, actually, 64 was a preview, by the way, but those two scenarios, whatever you want to call them, were so fucking epic. I just had to talk about it and just ramble on for a good maybe 15 to 20 minutes because I got a gameplay in the background that I kind of want to show off because. It, it was pretty awesome and I thought I should show them off. Anyways, let's focus on the actual topic today. First of all, Vegeta. Vegeta finally had his moment. Do you know how long I wanted to see Vegeta have his moment where he wasn't being shit upon by every other character in the show? Like, that has been my dream. And Vegeta just came in. First of all, before we even go into that, I actually don't like how Vegeta pretty much destroyed the hyperbolic time gym. I mean, seriously, Vegeta, that thing has saved you guys' ass numerous times, and you just had to go out and just kapoom destroy that thing. But now he came out like a boss, and I feel like now correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Vegeta is now stronger than Goku because he actually spent technically a day inside the hyperbolic time chamber so basically it's a year so he has a year's worth of experience a year's worth of training ahead of Goku so that should make him stronger than Goku hopefully Toriyama will remember this as he continues on the story of Super so pretty much Vegeta goes in fucking destroys black Goku like he goes in gives him this lecture of how even though you stole Goku's body you can never use Goku's body to the absolute max you can never really master every single cell in goku's body and i was like bro go on keep just keep attacking him like yo man the animation was actually pretty dope too and then he actually done some damage to um black goku i actually thought he took him out because as you guys can see he was kind of roasted by the time um vegeta finished his sequence of attacks and stuff like that i thought he was done for like he's out of the game game over he's out so um we also saw Goku going in at Zamuza as well. Um that was actually pretty dope though. Even though we knew that Goku can't do shit against Zamuza because Zamuza is mortal, it was still pretty dope to see him you know attack him left and right. And I think my favorite part was when he pretty much punched him straight down to the ground and that animation with the explosion, yo, that was that was hype. That was so damn hype. Um but then again obviously Zamuza gets up, he um starts talking this smack talk about him being immortal the feeling of knowing that he can never die blah 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 all that good stuff and then all of a sudden um gomasu and supreme kai shows up okay see that they showed up at the beginning of the fight and they wasted a good two minutes maybe even four minutes of potential fighting gomasu showed up for no pointless reason supreme kai definitely didn't want to be there you can see it in his face he actually has no idea why he's there. He even got insulted when Goku actually calls him out of or saying like, you know, Supreme Kai, why are you even here? I know your bitch ass don't want to be here, but it's like, yeah, but anyways, besides that, um, we see um, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of humor as well when Bulma asked um, Trunks to fix up the job because he used to be good at jigsaw puzzles apparently, I don't know, like, but that, that was pretty funny too. And then, I think the episode ended there, there wasn't really anything significant that happened in that particular episode. I think it was the preview that got me even more hyped because I did not think it was going to be possible. I kind of got the hints because of all that, you know, leaked title and stuff like that. After this, I'm never looking at another leaked title again because I actually want to be surprised. We actually got, spoiler alert if you made it this far, we actually got a fusion, a fusion between Goku Black and Zamuza. Now it's, I don't know what the official name is going to be. Is it going to be Zamuza Black, um, Zamuku, Gomaza? <laughs> I don't fucking know the name, but uh, yo, first of all, the outfit, it better be in Xenoverse 2 because that actually looks clean. That looks clean as fuck though. And um, everything else is pretty okay. Basically, they didn't really change too much. He has still, you know, Zamuza's face, but with Goku's hair and his slim body and stuff like that. So basically now he's he's pretty much an immortal being with with Goku's body. That's like fucking crazy. Now 
there's something about Goku Black that's been bothering me for some time now, like, especially his power scaling, his gloat, how he became so strong that he even surpassed Goku and, and Vegeta, some of that stuff didn't really make sense at all, and I felt like, you know, Goku Black ended up being a plot hole for the entire um, Dragon Ball Super, I felt like maybe he, got, he only got strong because Toriyama made him become that strong just for the story to carry on, because if you really look at it realistically, all Zamuza did was a basic ass and um, body mind swap. He shouldn't be that strong because he still technically has Goku's body. There's really no reason why Vegeta or Goku should have been able to drop him. I don't know. Anyways, we got that fusion. It was pretty dope. I can't wait for the next episode. I'm avoiding spoilers left and right. I'm gonna be dodging that shit like a shinobi. I am not seeing a single spoiler until that episode shows. That was probably the most hype episode ever and now that um Crunchyroll has um you know dragon ball super on their list the simulcast would be amazing just have to wait an hour after it airs in japan it's going to be amazing it's going to be great and as soon as actually as soon as the episode drops we also got a trailer for dragon ball heroes they showed off a bunch of shit like they showed off the fusion for um goku black and zamuza so i'm assuming they're waiting they knew what's gonna happen so they were waiting and time because usually when something happens in the anime it takes a while for them to implement that shit into the game but Dragon Ball Heroes was like you know what I got you I'll be waiting for you <laughs> so it's like what the fuck and we also got the fusion between Vegeta and Trunks in that Dragon Ball Heroes trailer which was pretty cool and also um wait give me a sec there okay so I had to make sure uh, because in Dragon Ball Heroes trailer, I think in one of the scenes, Goku had a Potero airing air uh, ring or whatever. But it doesn't really make sense why he had it in one scene, but he had another scene. But it doesn't really matter. But yo, now the question remains Will Goku and Vegeta do the fusion? Now, honestly, now at first I wanted the fusion, but then now that I think about it, I kind of don't want it. Maybe it's because I don't want the entire series and the entire arc. To become so predictable that where I, you know I can predict what's gonna happen but if they do fuse that would be pretty dope as well it still doesn't solve the whole <laughs> killing Zamoza because Zamoza is technically still immortal so how do they do that like how do they solve that issue now another thing is that maybe Trunks and Vegeta are confused because now Trunks has reached to the level where he, he can stand on par with Vegeta and Goku and maybe you know that would be dope because, I don't know, I mean, Dragon Ball and Resurrect Resurrection of F pretty much stated that, one of this, they stated that they would never fuse again, so I, like, I thought that would be the end of fusion, but apparently it's, that's, that's not the case. Now here's a bunch of, um, I guess, theories people have of how this series is going to end. So one of the theories is that pretty much somehow Goku and Vegeta are going to be able to attain Hotaro earrings and they're going to be able to fuse and become Vegito and I thought that could be the case but I don't think that would be the case because where are they going to get the Hotaro earrings from? Now people are saying that maybe you know Gamazu and Supreme Kai are going to give them their earrings but um, I f Supreme Kai does he have two earrings? I feel like he has only one and Gamazu only has only one. No he has two. He has two actually technically he does have two. So, that could work, that could work. And the other one is that maybe, um, you know, Vegeta and Trunks will fuse. That would be dope. I actually want Vegeta and Trunks to actually fuse because it feels like this whole Zamoza and Goku Black thing affects, well, yeah, affects Goku as well, but come on, I just want Vegeta to have his moment. Like, Goku's my favorite character, but Vegeta has been slept on for the longest time. And now that he's actually stronger than Goku in this particular scenario, he should be able to at least earn his right. I mean, think about this. Every time Vegeta is about to shine, something stupid happens. Something out of the blue just comes out of nowhere and takes away Vegeta's glory. And it's like, no, don't do that. Not this time. So I'm hoping that's the case now. And then, the episode's looking cool. Uh, like, like, the preview also showed that um, Goku Black can use Shadow Clone Jutsus and, you know, Zamuza opened up this portal thing. I don't know, like, what's going on? It's crazy. It's actually crazy. But anyway, guys, 
let me know what you guys think of th in today's episode in the comment section below like how do you think this arc will end will it end with a vegeta will it end with goku using that technique to you know seal zamazan and maybe chunks of vegeta or maybe a father zone combination of those two killing goku black like what do you think is gonna happen let me know in the comment section below um, i'm sure you guys thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace Two reveal trailer. We got the Logan reveal trailer. We got that Nintendo Switch reveal trailer, and now we actually got a first look of Super Saiyan 3 Battle in Dragon Ball.